Hey guys, it's your girl Clinker Fox here. So I am going to be doing some more reading of a uh, killer, killer thriller books. So this one is called Make Up. Hey, shine the light properly. Stop holding on to me. Well, sorry, I almost fell over because of you. Hey. That's because you keep holding on to me. Do we really have to go out to buy drinks this late? With this lighting and my makeup, I'm seriously am with other batteries too. You're still young and pretty, so you don't know what it's like for us. We used to be in our 20s like you too. Look, your face isn't even red after all that drinking. It's the best time in your life. It's too dark around here. Stop putting on your makeup. Convenience store just down there where Amos there. Yeah, let's go. She said we're almost at the convenience store. Let's just go back to the dormitory. I can't see anything and I'm scared. Seriously, it feels like we've been walking for an hour. Come on, we already come all the way, all the way here. Tonight is our night. Besides, what are the chances of three strangers meeting in a place like this? So you two really didn't know each other before either? You guys seem like you already knew each other. Must be destiny. I know, right? It's the first time any of us have met, but it feels like we all know each other. It must be destiny. Haha, <laughs> we're so good together. Hey kid, when you get our, get to our age, everyone is a friend. That's so true. <clears throat> Why do you keep calling me kid? Our ages aren't even that far apart. I only have 13% battery left. Guys, let's just go. I'm scared. There aren't any people or cars around. Then we better hurry. Then let's hurry. You can charge your phone at the convenience store. Stumble. Ah! Phew, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? I'm fine. My body's been acting kind of weird lately. <laughs> Isn't it obvious that we're getting older? Haha. <laughs> Huh? Hey, is that a car? At this hour? Vroom. Nice. Should we hitch a ride? Tommy and perfect. What? How could we get in some stranger's car this late at night? I mean, this is how people get kidnapped in movies and stuff. Yeah, let's see how many people are in the car and then decide. I mean, there are three of us, so what's the big deal? Sweet. I've always wanted to try this. Ta-da! It's our last day of vacation. Don't be such a wimp. Ah, uh, let's just go. What are we doing? What are we doing hitchhiking you in, in the nowhere like this? Vroom. Guys, good luck. Look, you're just a driver, right? Don't worry, I'm what Kelly's done. Hello, could you... Oh, oh boy. Just take us over to the convenience store down there. Gee, just like that. Please? I thought I had seen a ghost when I saw such a pretty group of young girls out at this hour. Well, you rock, Mister. Uh, were you... Were you walking to the convenience store down the road? Get in already. Woohoo! Wow. We would have gone missing if it weren't for you. Haha, <laughs> how did you appear at just the right moment? Thank you. You guys are lucky with the holiday season ending. There aren't many people around here nowadays. Vroom. Rattle, rattle. It's so nice and secluded around here. Yeah, I must be fate. I came here because I don't like crowded and busy places and I end up making new friends just by chance. Ha ha. Man, you guys reek of booze. Really? I thought I smelled something, but it's more like the smell of alcohol. Guys, we didn't drink that much. Is that really the drinks we had? Huh? A gown? Hmm, what smell? Are you a doctor, mister? That pretty nose of yours must have a pretty drunk sense of smell. Haha. <laughs> By the way, there's something I've been meaning to ask you since yesterday. Hmm? <laughs> How should I explain this? I can see myself more than just or ordinary plastic surgeons. Think of me as a scholar who's researching new cosmetic surgery procedures. Where did you get your nose done? 
It's all natural. You know, to me, you look beautiful with that wonderful skin. Too bad I see some little defects with the cosmetic surgery you got done. What? Liar, haha. I guess it turned out okay. Must have cost you a fortune. So what's your blood type? What the fuck, buddy? Who are you asking for a blood type? Clang. Uh, oh my god. Shit. Why haven't they fixed this friggin' road yet? Man, that scared me. Where did I drop my phone? Slush, slush. Uh, uh, mister. I heard something break in the glove compartment that smelled from before. Seemed to have gotten even worse. God, that smell. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Ooh. Hasn't it... Hasn't it gotten way worse? Hmm? I don't smell anything. Why does she keep saying she smells something? Yeah, it must be because her nose is so pretty. She can smell all kinds of stuff. Ha ha. I guess the bottle must have broken. Too bad it was hard to find. What kind of bottle? Well, it wasn't super fresh, but it was some really rare stuff. Where did my stupid phone go? Why, what is it? I dropped my phone. <laughs> Ugh, what am I touching? Is it that smell again? Yeah, there's that smell, but I feel something slippery also. Ooh, what is that? Huh? It's too dark to see what what it is. Hey, give me your phone so I can fix up my makeup. Yeah, give it here. Hmm? Hmm? Flash. You guys are hilarious since yesterday. All you ever care about is your makeup. Shriek. What are you doing? Turn off your phone. Jesus. Jeez, how could you shine something so bright in my eyes when I'm driving? can't disturb his driving when you're in the passenger seat. I told you to give it to me. Jeez, I, I'm sorry. Man, the floor is all... The smell is getting worse and worse. Sniff, sniff. <laughs> Just hold on a bit longer. We'll be there soon. Why do you keep talking about some smell? Mister, stop for a minute. I'm going to be sick. It's blood. Are you okay? Let's just hurry up and get there. Uh, um, guys, I feel kind of nauseous and dizzy. That guy is super weird. What if he's a murderer? I should get out and signal them. At least we have numbered him. I really don't feel well. One sec. Whoosh. Hey, G, stay still. Uh, what are you doing? You shouldn't be doing this. Man, I didn't think the bottle was to be broken. Anyway, this bitch doesn't know how to shut up. What the hell? What are you doing? Let go. Shit. Crash. Damn. Slam. Oh, no. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get her here? How could you give her the shot here? It wasn't my fault. What was I supposed to do? She was kicking and screaming. Phew. It's coming off. Her nose is mine. Ew. What the fuck? Uh, what are they talking about? Hey, I'm first. This time, you can have her eyebrows and her eyelids. I told you, her nose is mine, you plastic freak. Too bad. This one was good. If only he had lived. She had lived. Wait, she's awake? Uh, what are you doing? Huh, look at her. Huh, she's still alive. Hey, are you awake, babe? Looks like God is helping us with a relief that she woke up. I know you're dizzy, but just hang in there a bit longer. Babe, babe, hurry up and get ready. Hurry. Uh, all right. I'm dizzy. H hey, kid. In, in a bit, you can scream if it hurts and let yourself drift off. But for now, you have to stay awake. Ew! 
we have to take the skin off while you're awake so it'll be fresh. Otherwise, it doesn't last long. Just look at us. Oh, that's nasty. What? Oh, look at the skin tearing off. That is nasty. What? Ooh. Ooh. They should just just be the water. <laughs> oh my god. Dieti diet. Dieti is that what possibly is that supposed to be diet? Oh boy. This is gonna be something. Beep. Okay, let's make sure. 73.82 kg. Unlike in the United States, body weight is measured in kilograms in South Korea. Ah, makes sense. Yes, yes, like 600 g. Woohoo, sweet. <laughs> All this working out and paying off. Die to Jesus, I can get the fuck of me. Welcome to City Roll Story. I'll have a ricotta cheese salad and ice and Americano. I better not get anything fatty. Sure, this buzzer will go off when it's ready. He's handsome. That guy at Tash, which is super cute, I should put it on the coming here. Two days later. I put on so much weight. But why? All I really had was a salad. Hi there, shall I get your regular order? Uh, sure, thank you. He remembers me. Alright, can I have your card? Sorry, not bad. Sorry, not bad. Lose some weight. What? This buzzer will go off when it's ready. Lose some weight. Hmm, what did you say? Huh? I said the buzzer will go off when it's ready. Ah, uh, right, thanks. I'm sure I could hear him say, lose some weight. It was like he was whispering me. Ah, uh, come on, a handsome girl like that. I must have heard him wrong. Could it be that I'm fatter than I think? No, you're not. Don't get that fatty suffering stuff in your face. I'm surprised she's even out in public with that many chins. What? I'm sure I just heard that I'm positive. Everyone thinks I'm a pig. Everyone. Since that day I started hearing whispers in my ear. I couldn't go outside where where people are where there are other people now. A lot of people on diet orders are really going for the kind of key sounds. Uh, well, that's a bit of a problem. We're kind of keeping things a lot of calories. I bet they were all laughing at me. They were all mocking me. What? I'm going to lose weight and then nobody will make fun of me. Six months later. Very, very pretty, I must say. Oh, God. Welcome to the city of One brunch combo, please. I should show him how pretty his anger. Thank you. This bus will go off when it's ready. Do you, do you remember me? I used to come here a lot. Of course I remember you. You used to come here every day. You always order a salad and uh, an Americano. Ah, you remember me. And then I hear the voice again. Sorry, Lose some weight into that. And then I don't remember what happened. But when I came to my senses, he was already dead. And I kept hearing the voice that I thought was that one. Shining the bed. Shining the bed. Shining the bed. Shining the bed. yourself. In the music. Huh? Backstory. It's that cute girl who's been coming here a lot lately. Hi there, shall I get you a brick Uh, sure, thank you. She looks cute when she blushes. This buzzer will go off when it's ready. 
I should talk to her more tomorrow. Wow. Poor guy. I feel so bad for him. Entangled. Let's do this one. Oh boy. Okay, get ready guys. Uh why is she crying? Killer entangled art story by song. There's two people there? Wanna try going in there? There's an abandoned hospital near our school. No way. It looks freaking haunted or something. That's actually true. What? You know, just look, just look. You look just like a witch. What? But you're always getting creeped out. Well, damn. Thanks, friend. Sheesh. No, I'm not. There's like a bunch of stuff left here. I guess they only took the bits some stuff away. Click, click, click. Ah, the lights won't turn on. They probably cut off the electricity way before. Well, it's just an empty hospital. There's nothing really special about it. Ooh, oh god, what is that? Tap. Ew! Ah! <laughs> hey, you didn't have to smash you like that. Did I really scare you? Sorry, sorry. I want to go home. All right, we won't be able to see anything if it gets any darker. Rather, rather. Huh? What's wrong? It won't open. What? Hey, stop messing around. I'm not. It really won't open. I hate it when you joke around like this. Stop teasing me. Why don't you give it a try? Whoosh. Why? Rather. Why won't this open? Rather, rather. It opened just fine a minute ago. Why? Slam. I told you I hate going to places like this. Is she sleeping for real? Now I'm trapped in here because of her. Psst. Bzz, bzz. My phone. I thought it had turned off before because it ran out of batteries. Yeah. Uh, why are my headphones all tangled up like this? They're all wet. Did a tube of hand cream burst in there or something? The phone. Where the hell is my phone? I have to hurry. Ew, what? Before the phone shuts off. Thump. Oh god. I found it. Wish. I wanted to support. I went to a supposedly haunted hospital. And the door locked on my friend and I. Neither the electricity nor the lights work. And come to think of it, I'm sure that I didn't bring my bag with me. Uh. She kill her? What the fuck? Did she kill her friend? Oh no, she killed her friend. Scream. <clears throat> read this one. Turn out your volume and reading. Oh boy. Scream. Oh no. Sugar. What movie should we watch? I could watch anything. What kind of movie do you like? I'm finally on a date with her. I'd just like to see whichever movie I'm playing soonest. 
I hope that after the things will move forward a bit for us. She part low with everybody, so it took a lot of work to get to this point. Ding. Lucky for me, it looked like she had a lot on her mind lately. Well, well, what's this? Going to see a movie? Haha. Ha. Got yourself a new boyfriend, I see. Thank you for driving up to protect you. Um, what? Lately, she's been noticeably anxious. Turn, turn. Bump. Ah! Hey, young. Plop. Oh, God. Are you alright? What got into you all of a sudden? Sorry, I'm just a bit sensitive right now. I haven't been sleeping. Ugh. Huh? Do you have any idea what shirt does this? Sorry. Hey, why don't you watch where the hell you're going? That's enough. She made a mistake. Here's some money and comp composition. So please stop yelling at her. <laughs> Phew. Are you alright? You almost fell over before you can before. You look kind of anxious. Do I? Well, actually, lately, I keep getting these weird texts. What? Yes, suck. If something goes wrong, could you help me? Sure. I'm not sure what you mean, but just tell me. You seem like a very reliable and kind person. I'm not that great. <laughs> Let's choose a movie. How about this one? The Street in the Moonlight. A horror movie? Yeah, I've heard this one is pretty good. I knew the power of fear. The more afraid people are, the more easily they confuse their emotions. There's the so-called shaking bridge effect, where a person fails to distinguish between, between excitement caused by fear and arousal stimulated by the opposite sex. Huh. She's terrified because of some unknown stalker. She's so cute. So the more she fears the stalker, the more she will depend on me. But before the movie starts, she will get another text from the stalker. Snap. This is why I like her. That's right. Actually, I'm the one who sent those, t those texts. What the hell? As long as I get a date with Hyung, I'll do whatever it takes. Uh, now I just have to look for the right moment to hold her hand. But the movie is so scary that I can't even lift my head. J Jason, it was a perfect chance to grab her hand, trembling in fear, and hold her down. Yeah, I worked so hard for this day. Please don't push my hand away. And then, she, le she quietly leaned over and rested her head on my shoulder. Plop. I I knew it. She liked me too. It's all thanks to fear. Phew. Wasn't that scary? <laughs> she must have really been terrified. She still has lifted her head off my shoulder. Uh... Were you scared, Hey Young? How about we go get something to eat? Oh! Oh my. Oh my gosh, she did. Call an ambulance. The first time in decades that I wear my old champion shirt and then that bitch ruins it. I'm scared. Ah! Gross. Jesus. Crazy motherfucker. He killed her. <laughs> he killed her over her effing shirt. Just wash it. It'll be fine. <laughs> true, true. What a fool. Oh boy. Here's this one now. Do this one. Background music, biscuit. 
was a shaky hand I held up the pregnancy test. But one of the lines was only faintly visible. The doctor said that we will be able to know for sure if I do a blood test, so I should stay positive. My mind is filled with a mixture of anxiety and anticipation. With her hormone level of 86, he said that it's almost certain that I'm pregnant, but he cannot rule out the possibility of a spontaneous miscarriage. He prescribed an injection for miscarriage prevention. Oh God, after waiting for years, I finally had my own perfect child. Please, I cannot lose the child. The child, too. Oh, God, please, God. Oh, this is so sad. My hormone level is over 300. My husband gave me a big smile of relief. Everyone excitedly congratulated each other. Thank you, God. Thank you for hearing my prayers. I have waited so long for the child. What is with these fucking pictures? I was so afraid of needles. But there was no time for such childish fear now. Man carriage prevention injection. Progesterone injection. I cannot pronounce that word. Am- immunoglobulin injection. I don't know if I pronounce that right. Etc. That's right. I just have to bear with this so that I can have a healthy, beautiful baby. Damn pictures again. Eight weeks pregnant, I saw the baby clearly for the first time. I could not help but cry. The doctor and my husband were flustered when they saw me crying. But perhaps only God knows how full of joy and emotion my heart is. Do pictures again, holy shit. The doctor told me to prepare cute clothes. It's a girl. I'm having a daughter. He did not forget to tell me how pretty she is. Of course, I thought so too. How could a daughter born to the news, anchored mother, and athlete father not be s- smart and pretty? Ah, uh, am I getting a bit ahead of myself? Ha. Huh. The picnic names Elizabeth, Charlotte, Diana. Her. Fido nickname was Sturdy. I did not really like the name, and honestly, it seems a bit crude. But my husband family insisted on the name for some reason. I was a bit upset at my husband. I had heard from some of my friends about their husband's family suddenly getting nosy after getting pregnant. Could my husband family be the same way? Uh, oh boy. When bleeding like crazy, I got so pale that I had to go to the hospital, overwhelmed with fear. I blurred out my symptoms at random. The result of the sonogram, thankfully, oh God, the baby and I are both healthy. I will have to be more careful from now on. Thankfully, my daughter grew without any serious problems, and before I knew it, it was already almost time to give birth to her. Of course, I don't have any pain, painful pregnancy stories like other mothers, but what does that matter? That does not diminish my love for my daughter at one bit. Oh boy. Okay. She was successfully delivered weighing three. Just three? Three point one kg. That's kind of small for a baby. The first thing I did was to silently say thanks. I have finally met my angel, my pride. My future with shaking hands. I held my child, seeing her unusually clear eyes and sharp nose. I was so touched. I feel like I was going to faint. No, don't cry. I held back my tears for fear for fear that they would think I was drained again. My husband's parents insisted that I go to a postnatural care center near their house, which they knew well, but thankfully my husband firmly objected and I was moved to a care center attached to the hospital. Thank God, if they had continued assisting, I would have had to hand in a letter of registration and go with them. I feel like the whole world and the whole universe was on my side. Oh, that picture kind of creepy. Not even for a second did I get sick of seeing her every day. In fact, okay, the music's starting to kick in now. Ooh. Every day I only wanted to see her more. I could recognize her at a glance. Even from a distance among the countless other newborn babies. 
why. Because my daughter is the prettiest, perhaps. That's why. I'm always jealous when other people hold and embrace my daughters. Get your hands off of her. Oh boy. I know that it's best to continue breastfeeding and that I will sleep. But they told me that my breasts were not big enough unless a few cleaver salesmen from Pather Milk manufacturers approached me. But I friendly refused after asking my doctor and colleagues about it and delayed the matter myself. I selected the best powder milk for my new newborn daughter at the current stage in her development, just as any mother who wants her daughter to grow up strong and healthy would. <coughs> Jesus. Tuberculosis. Hepatitis. Diphtheria. Polo. Uh, meningitis, pneumonia, etc. The vaccination and procedures for a baby are surprisingly complicated. Dale would check to make sure that the vac vaccination schedule is being followed and give her new injections, since one would not want to lose everything because of a moment's carelessness. Of course, they tell me that the chances of that happening are slim, but I cannot take the chances. Ooh, they creep me out. Even with the slight danger, that fly creeped me a little bit. Ooh. Look at fly, girls. She got a cut on her foot. Why is her... This is small. Seeing my daughter crying and clinging to me, I felt my blood start to boil. How on earth could this happen? She's a girl. She should be wearing pretty sandals in summer. So why? It isn't my fault, but it's hard to control this race. Wait, it's not my fault. Really? Oh boy. What the <laughs> fuck? Every time I dress her wound, my daughter collapses on the floor, crying and screaming. It hurts me to see, and I'm becoming more and more certain of one thing. Yes, perhaps this is my fault. Maybe I was careless. I cannot blame my family. They would not change a thing. Oh boy. A regular examination at the hospital and then finally she spoke her first words. I'm sure that I heard it. Look into my eyes, desperately searching for me. She asked me to take her somewhere happy as soon as possible. She asked me to take care of her and love her. Of course, no one but me understood what she said, since you're all just fakes with no right to understand. Uh, what the fuck? Okay then. Oh god, that picture. Things had been quiet for a while when, sure enough, my daughter dislocated her elbow while playing at my husband's parents' house. How many times would she have to get hurt for them to finally wake up? Comforting my flustered husband, the doctor said not to worry, as this kind of thing happens all the time, but I thought differently. These people have no right to call themselves parents. Not at all. Please, just stop bothering my daughter. Damn. Oh, God, that fucking teeth. What the fuck? Because of a problem with me trying to go back to work, my husband's parents decided to look after my daughter, who had just turned one year old, at their house so far away. I was so stunned that I could not even think of a response. These people must be losing their goddamn mind. How dare they try to separate a mother from her from her child? Uh, I don't think they're trying to. It was late at night when I met the doctor on duty, when I explained the ridiculous situation to him. He flashed me a knowing smile as he readily handed over my computer records. All the information I needed was right, was right here. I didn't need to leave my daughter in that place anymore. I could not leave her in the hands of that cursed family. Bye-bye. I made the decision and handed in my letters of resignation. We said nine nation. I think I can't pronounce that word. Rex, we sign nation. My colleague protested and argued, asking me how they could possibly fill my position right away if I leave. But that was not an issue right now. I could think about something so trivial when I was apart from my daughter. I phoned my family members and told them I had 
quit my job. They asked why. They asked if I could come over for a minute when I had settled down. Once again, they asked why. I told them in a distant voice that there had been a medical error which the hospital had not told me about. We quickly arranged a date to meet. Uh, excuse me? Just wait, sweetie. Mom and me will be there soon. My sweet angelic little daughter finally said her first word, Mommy, that's right, isn't it? You said that, don't, didn't you? You know not long. What the fuck is that picture? Who your real mother is. Um, I'm sorry. Okay then, that was kind of terrifying. Alright guys, I'm going to stop there. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, stay safe and take care. Bye bye.